I'm Tim Franz. I'm the chief of the City of Oshkosh, Wisconsin Fire Department. We have six fire stations and 108 personnel. We uh, cover 25 square miles. Our city is uh, a relatively flat, has uh, some rivers running through it and quite a bit of lakefront. Uh, and uh, we have a university in our city and a uh, uh, pretty large industrial base and a uh, few institutions. Uh, 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 state institutions, prisons that we cover. Um, so uh, we operate with the Quint concept, so um, that's why this truck is designed as it is. It's a, a true Quint. It is a uh, quantum chassis. We have a 105 foot uh, heavy duty aerial on it. It is, uh, the pump is of the puck design also. And uh, some of the suspension features with it is TAC4 suspension on the front, T3 in the rear. And uh, we had a chance to uh, try a pro prototype of the T3 and really saw some great advantages with maneuverability through our city being an older city, some of the tighter streets in it. And um, we had uh, uh, um, all steer prior to this and really um, appreciated what we could do with this vehicle in the areas that we could get it in. So, and as I said, we operate it as a quint, so it's going out on engine company type calls pretty frequently. So we need good maneuverability and the uh, ability to get it into uh, any area of the city that we want to. As I said, we, it's a quantum chassis. Uh, we have uh, most of the uh, fire companies in our fleet are quantum chassis. Our people uh, chose this. We uh, had a committee that uh, worked on designing this truck and uh, the quantum is their preferred uh, chassis that we've had and primarily for the room in the cab that we had and also just from the standpoint of the rest of the design gave us the most flexibility as far as uh, weight and spacing with everything else that we wanted to do on, on the chassis. Uh, it also has TAC4 suspension um, and uh, most of our fleet has this now and uh, it's, uh, it's amazing the uh, ride quality that we have and also uh, definitely a, a noticeable difference in our stopping distances that we have with it. Um, the rear area, um, you know, one of the great things working with Pierce, being able to custom design your vehicle, we just strictly went with um, forward facing seats and the fact that a lot of our calls are um, emergency medical services responses that uh, we put some bins in there, a quick place for us to be able to store our firefighter turnout gear um, when we aren't responding to fire incidents. Um, and the inside is primarily laid out for carrying EMS equipment. Having the uh, puck design in the location of the pump, we gained so much more compartment space than uh, what we would otherwise have um, on, our, on our previous trucks, which was really important for us because Operating it as a quint, we need all the space that we can get. Um, also, there's great flexibility in the design and the width of the cross lays that we were able to put in here. Um, and uh, an extra space in the cross lay for carrying a high rise pack or it's a dead load for extra hose connections that we want to have um, for things that are out of reach with uh, the other lines that are on the truck. All the scene lighting runs off of uh, the DC power of the truck so we don't have to have the generator operating. One of the nice things about having LED lighting, we can really have uh, great scene lighting without having to uh, fire up the generator on the truck. The, as you can see here, we've got the T3 uh, suspension on the back and, uh, and all steer. Um, it's independent rear suspension. Uh, in their first time out with this truck, I noticed it immediately as we drove out of the station down the uh, um, fire apparatus apron that as we were heading down the angle out of the station along with turning, we did not getting, get any of the twist in the yaw in the truck that you normally have with uh, solid axle suspension in the back. It was amazing, the ride quality just in and thinking about probably how much that lowers the stress on the truck as we're um, in the torque box and everything being that it is a ladder truck as well. Um, and uh, should be um, a big help with us on the longevity of our tires.
One of the issues sometimes people have with quince is the ability for loading holes into the main bed. This is one of the things that we had seen another department had done and uh, people on our committee came up with is to take the back wall out of this compartment and actually this is access directly to the hose bed which makes it uh, quite a bit easier for loading purposes. So this is for two and a half inch hand lines to be used uh, for um, additional lines that are out of the reach of the cross lays on the fire scene which sometimes people think it can't be done with a quint but this is proof that it can be done. There's a full complement of ground ladders. Another plus with the length of uh, this vehicle we can fit a two section 35 foot ladder which was a pretty big deal for us because that's a just all around great ground ladder and be able to have a, a 35 and two sections makes it much easier for two people to deploy. Thanks for your time and I hope that uh, we showed you a few things here and features of this truck that uh, may give you some ideas on how you can uh, solve the fire problems in a more efficient way in your community.